and welcome to Books and Crafts. I'm Angie Lucas. This is Wendy Smedley, and we are with Ella Publishing Company. Oh, and we have some fun stuff to talk about today. And let me just tell you that this topic we could talk forever on because it's just so many cool books and ideas. But it's all about being inspired by picture books. And if you think about it, you can... Um, look at picture books and see beautiful um, illustrators and you can, it's like, almost like fine art, really. And so let me just share a project that I made. This is um, my niece, Chloe, and you can see a direct relation to the picture book that was inspired by the cover. And so I mimicked the hand-sewn look by doing the stitching and the, the title that's layered on top of squares. And I just love how it turned out. And this is a darling, darling book by one of my favorite picture book authors, Harriet, how would you say that, Ziefert? Close enough. Yes, deeper. <laughs> so this is just a, a, an easy example of how you can be inspired. You can certainly do it in a layout, um, just a direct translation of the cover. And I love how it turned out. Yeah, and there's lots of ways to be inspired by children's books and picture books. And you've got to admit they are super inspiring. You can even frame. Oh, if you have a, a favorite page or an artwork. picture book or even something from your childhood. Or, you know, it can just be... Um, the cover of a children's book. You can frame it and use it as decor. Definitely, that's a fun option. And I also created a layout that's inspired by a children's book. Now you're gonna look at these two and say, I don't see anything similar between those two whatsoever. So mine is definitely not inspired by um, the, the look or the colors or the, or the actual you know, design, graphic design right. of the book. Mine was inspired by the content. This book, Little Miss Spider, was given to me by a friend of mine who is an adoptive mom, and I am also an adoptive mom. I have a, um, a little baby that's a year old now that, that we adopted, and this friend of mine gave me this book and told me that she just thought it was one of the best that's about adoption that helps a little child kind of grasp the idea of being adopted. So I grabbed my favorite little quote from the book that's just on the last page, and I paired it with pictures of me and my baby. And it says, for finding your mother, there's one certain test. You must look for the creature who loves you the best. Oh, I love so that. Sweet. Yes. So I loved that phrase. And when, you know, I, I couldn't help just putting that and using it as the journaling for a page that's very meaningful to me. Yes. And it really speaks to um, the, the layout. And so you can just take, you know, your favorite quote. Now this one, uh, I'm going to show you a project that is inspired by another Harriet, we'll just call it Harriet book, and it's 33 <laughs> uses for a dad. Oh, come Adorable. on. Adorable. You know, you can already tell it's fun. I'm gonna show you um, a couple. One, nurse, of course, dancing partner, air conditioner, cheerleader, <laughs> opponent, and it just goes on and on and just talks about all the fun uses for a dad, and I, I love the illustrations, and, and I decided, um, to do a project called Because of You. And this is something I created um, for my husband. So it's and kind of like 33 uses for a husband. Right, exactly. <laughs> or it's a little direct, a little <laughs> indirect. But the idea is um, all of the things that I have experienced um, because, because of him. And so, you know, and I explain it here and talk about just the fun things that, you know, I'm just telling him what is inside the book. And so here, I'll just show you a couple of examples. Here's pictures of um, some of our, our five sons. And, you know, obviously family is something that I've gotten to experience with him. Um, we have lots of parties, like growing up, that wasn't something we did a lot of. And so because of him, I've gotten to enjoy um, and appreciate family parties. And we have twins. Um, who knew that would happen? And, and wouldn't have without Kent. And lots. <laughs> and we've celebrated lots and lots of birthdays. And you can just kind of get the idea as I'm flipping through the pages what it is that I'm communicating to him. And then there's just kind of little personal notes about specific events. And then I end it with um, a picture of he and I. And 20 years, five kids, you and me. More to come. But not, not more kids. Not <laughs> more kids. Not more kids. <laughs> oh, but that's darling. That's just a fun project that is inspired by that book, that children's book, which is just so fun. 
And imagine all the different ways you could, 33 uses for, I mean, fill in the blank. Right, right. So many possibilities yes. there. Yes, and yeah, you'll, it, it's a great, it's a really good um, book and a project. And just the next time you're looking at your favorite picture book, decide how you could translate that into a project. Maybe home decor or a scrapbooking layout. Just open your mind. And here, we'll share two more book picks. It's time for our book picks. Think about if there's ways these might inspire something that you're interested in creating. Uh, my book, book pick of the week is called Once Upon the Time, The End, Asleep oh. in 60 Seconds. And it's just delightful. It takes a lot of very common and familiar fairy tales and children's stories and condenses them into a 60 second story that you can read to your kids. And it's and they're quirky and it's funny for adults and it's hilarious for kids. And so this one basically says, I mean, the back cover says it all. Goldilocks and the bears. There were some bears. It doesn't really matter how many. There was a bunch. <laughs> Let's get to the point. While they were out, a blonde girl ate a bear's porridge, broke a bear's chair, and fell asleep in a bear's bed. When the bears came back, they found her asleep. She woke up, screamed, and ran home so she could sleep in her own bed, just like you. Oh, I love <laughs> that. that. It's adorable. Yes. So it just takes them and condenses them, and adults will find it funny, and kids will probably get a real kick out of it too. And my little baby's a little young to understand it, but it's still fun. To read to her. So yes, that's my pick. A little sass. And you can find all of our book picks every week on ellapublishing.com forward slash book pick book picks. There's a link to every book and we've got our own little Amazon store right on our website so you can shop for all the books that we talk about on the yes. show. Yes. And I'm gonna end with my book pick of the week, which is um, it's a little different. It's nonfiction, and it's written by a woman who's a teacher. And um, she's called The Book Whisperer. And um, I read this after my kids were, you know, older, but I was very, very inspired by her, um, you know, what she was trying to accomplish. And, you know, let me just, I'm going to read a little bit about her and what she believes about reading. Um, okay, this is, and this is a direct quote of the author. Reading changes your life. Reading unlocks worlds unknown or forgotten, taking travelers around the world and through time. Reading helps you escape the confines of school and pursue your own education. Through characters, the saints and sinners, real or imagined, reading shows you how to be a better human being. Now, I accept that I may never arrive at teaching paradise, but as long as I hold on to my love of books and show my students what it really means to live as a reader, I'll be a lot closer than I once was, because her goal in life, you know, is to inspire readers. Um, and so I definitely, regardless of where you are in your life, if you're a reader or if you have kids or you're a teacher, it's a very inspiring book with lots of great information and I'm excited for you to read it. Well, thanks for joining us this week where we've talked about picture books and shared some pics with you and hopefully you can be inspired to create something inspired by a children's book. Thanks for joining us this week. We hope to see you next week on Books and Crafts. Thank you.